All right, all you cool cats and kittens. Here's the best way to preserve all your stuff on Canvas. So what we're going to do, first you got to find the class that you would like to import or export, I should say. So dashboard, I'm going to click on, let's say I want to export. This is the class I taught this year. So I'm going to click on here. And then I'm going to click on settings. Once I'm on settings on the right hand side, I have a couple different options. The option I like the best is the share to commons option. Okay, so you can click share to commons. And it's going to populate right here. So a couple different things you can who can use this resource, you can make it so that only you can, or you can make it so other people in the school district or just anyone at all. So I mean, it depends on what you're comfortable with. I like sharing all of my material with everyone just to be helpful. But again, no judgment, you can always just choose it just for you. Right? So maybe I want it all drawn school district. Um, in the title, right, I can name it whatever I want. Usually I put my last name in there, because then it's easier to find. Then you put a description, right? This is for boss. Tags, I can do tags, right? So maybe I want to do West Jordan High School as a tag, or um, West Jordan High School. Right, you can do whatever tags you want, and that's just when someone searches, they can find it easier. And then it requires you to do an image. So then you would choose an image, and then you're going to click Share. What that does is it sends it to the commons, okay? So then the next step is importing. Okay, so let's go back to, we have these things called sandboxes. Uh, if you have questions about how to get that created, um, you need to, there's someone in the district you need to email, but I already have mine created, right? So let's say I want to import something for next year. So it's my sandbox. I'm going to click on that. On the right-hand side, there's a thing that says import from commons. So I'm going to click on that. This is also a way that you can import other assignments or other tests, right? It doesn't just have to be a whole course, right? But let's say I wanted to import my business office specialist. And so I type in what I'm searching for and it pops up everything. And you can see here, I have a couple different ones I'd already imported, right? So then I would just, I would click on the course. And when I click on it, it'll give me details. It'll show me what it looks like. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but yeah. Um, it'll show you what it looks like, and all I have to do is click import slash download, and it's going to um, import everything over, okay? So, um, and even if you don't import right now, it'll still be available, right? So you can see that I imported this. Uh, it doesn't have a date on it, but it, it was a while ago, so it just stays in the Canvas Commons, right? So it's not like you have to do it immediately. You can import it, so then that way it's available um, for you for in the future. Okay, so that should be everything on how to export and import the smart way.